What is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. Thank you for joining. Stick around to the end. We're going to have 10 reasons why this phone is definitely worth it. The Pixel 7 Pro after having this thing since launch day, actually a little bit before that shout outs to hashtag team pixel for sending this one out. And if you haven't done so already, click the like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. The first reason is this is the smoothest non iPhone smartphone. So iPhone for a long time has been one of the smoothest, if not the smoothest smartphones on the market due to hardware optimization with software. But Google is doing the same thing, playing in the same ballpark right here with the Google Pixel 7 Pro. And because of the combination of the Tensor G2, along with a pretty good amount of RAM here, and it does have, you know, these Google software with Google hardware, you know, this thing with a 120 hertz display, it is the smoothest non iPhone Android phone on the market. And it's funny because it's not even the highest priced one. So you can get the smoothest Android phone for not even paying the highest price. So like a Galaxy Z Fold, for example, and a S22 Ultra cost far more than your Google Pixel 7 Pro here. And they're not as smooth in my experience. So definitely that's number one. Number two is the stunning 120 Hertz display. You already see me scrolling through it like a madman. But if we scroll down here, you'll see not only that, I really like how Google gives us a 1440p QHD plus resolution. Now 4K phones, I think is pushing it a little bit too far. I don't think most people could see that, but I can definitely tell the difference between a 2K or a QHD plus and a full HD. Now, if you want to save some battery life, you can do that. But having this combined with the smooth 120 hertz display coupled with the Tensor G2, this whole entire experience of the display is just butter. It's buttery smooth. And not only that, it's super tack sharp. So when you are reading articles and stuff, it's actually noticeably sharper than something like a 1080p display. So if you do start reading, I notice every time I'm reading on this phone, I'm like, man, the text is so sharp. And yes, you can lower it down if you want to go to the 1080 to save some battery life throughout the day. But when you sit down to read an article or you sit down to read some messages or whatever, it's tack sharp. I really like that. The next one is the bold design of the Google Pixel series. It just stands out. It's like, look at me. I'm different. I'm not a Samsung and I'm not an Apple phone. And that doesn't always work because a lot of people love those two smartphone brands. Obviously, they're pretty much the two leaders. But just having something different is a win for consumers because you have another option. It's a third option. It's something else that just doesn't look like the mainstream as much, even though this is a mainstream smartphone. It stands on its own feet as a Google Pixel, and Google is really kind of making their own look, their own feel, especially with the camera bar, with the square look here, the edges. I mean, overall, it's just, it's beautiful. It really is a beautiful device. And overall, it just looks stunning, it looks premium, and it's just bold. So that's number three, I really do like it. It passes as its own device, it has its own look and feel. Really like that. Number four is that it's super fast with the performance, so you could, you could see me going through stuff here, but it's not only fast, it's actually very stable as well. So if you're looking for that stability, you're gonna get it here with the Pixel for sure. It has really good stability comparatively to what I've seen with the Pixel 6 Pro. So they launched this thing very smooth out of the gate, and that's something you have to kind of do here in 2022. People, don't, people expect smartphones at this point to be stunning, smooth, all that good stuff. And it's really something that you should keep in mind when you are, you know, picking up a phone. How well is this thing going to perform? And I could tell you, just take a look at what you're seeing here in this video. It has no delays. It has no lags. It's just really good, powerful day-to-day -day performance. And it doesn't get too warm either, except for the initial setup. If you are pushing it really hard, sometimes you can feel it because it does have glass in the back. But it's not. it doesn't get overly warm. It's definitely very usable. So really like that. The next number, number five, is gonna be the camera system. Now, obviously, Pixel, when you're making a Pixel video, you always have to talk about the camera system. However, what I wanna say is, yes, you get the versatility of the Super Res Zoom, which is freaking awesome for the Pixel, but the reason I'm throwing this in here is because I think this is the best smartphone for somebody who doesn't 
want to learn all the ins and outs of photography, but they want to do photography and get pro like results, the Pixel is going to be the best experience because it uses AI to create images that you would have to edit after the fact. So what I'm saying is somebody can go out with a DSLR or a dedicated camera, and if they don't tweak the settings properly, the Pixel with just one click of the shutter will actually produce better images. And in some cases, even when they do tweak the settings, it can still stand toe to toe with these premium cameras. So I'm not going out with this camera. I'm not going out with a pro camera anymore. I'm good. I'm not even buying one. I'm just going to use my Pixel because my Pixel gives me 95% of what those things are gonna do, and I don't gotta mess around with settings. It's just easy, it's excellent, and also adding that super res zoom combines a really long reach with AI, and it kind of processes the image to fool you into thinking that you have a dedicated huge telephoto zoom, which is not really the case, but it's amazing. So, really like that. Couple that with the fact that they threw in some extra modes, panoramics, night modes, magic eraser, where you can erase things out of the background. And you have yourself uh, an amazing experience here. For sure, this is a reason you need the Pixel 7 Pro. Number six, it's the best way to experience the all new Pixel Watch. So if you want to try out the Pixel Watch, which I have, and it, I, I can tell you, it's been a pretty good experience overall. It's not the best battery life. It's not the overall, you know, biggest screen, but it fits and it works and it gets through a day with regular use. Um, it's not going in a second. You got to charge this at night every night. It's a good first attempt though with some pretty polished software for a first go at it. So there is a future here with the Pixel Watch and the crown feels premium. The body looks pretty nice. And if you want to try Pixel Watch, you need to get the Pixel 7 Pro or the Pixel 7 and rock out because they go together like peanut butter and jelly. Number seven, the best Google experience bar none. You got the Google logo on the back, the Google search bar down here. Everything feels like a Google experience. And if you're into Google Calendar, Google News, Google Sheets, Google Keep, all these Google services, which a lot of people Google Chrome, this is the phone you wanna use. If you really are into the Google ecosystem, you know, if you use Google for basically everything, this is the phone you want, Google Maps, Everything is just so super Google-fied here. Like, unlike Samsung or Xiaomi or any of the other brands, they got their skins on top, they got their stuff going on plus Google. This is all pure, minimal, just Google. So if that's what you use a lot, I think you're gonna get the best experience here on the Pixel 7 Pro. And at number eight is a faster and improved fingerprint sensor. Over my time using it since it launched, I could tell you the fingerprint sensor has been far more accurate in my experience than the Pixel 6 Pro, which had some delay sometimes. Even with the screen protector I have put on this phone, I have been experiencing a good overall experience with that fingerprint sensor. So yes, the Google Pixel 7 Pro, you need it because it has a really good you know, experience with biometrics right there. Now face unlock, it's not super secure. It's not like when they used to have that more secure face unlock. So I don't even use that, but the fingerprint is solid. Now the only thing is, is if you have always on display on, you don't even have to unlock it. So that's pretty good as well. And it looks smooth, so that's nice. Number nine is Android 13 has been more stable than before. So if you're looking for more stability in the software, it hasn't been really buggy and Google does push out updates pretty frequently for this phone. So you don't have to wait too long to get updates and you're more than likely going to get the patches you need when you need them. And you're going to get the latest version of Android probably faster than most competing phones. So again, if you want more updates, this is one of the phones to go to. Yes, Samsung's really killing it with their whole, you know, new one UI five and stuff like that. They're really pushing out the updates going toe to toe as well. But when it comes to the pure Android software, you know, Google Pixel is probably gonna get that Android 14, those next big versions first. So that's a really strong reason to invest in a phone that's gonna give you, you know, the bigger updates that you really want faster. And at number 10, lastly, and probably maybe the most important for a lot of people is the price. So the Google Pixel 7 Pro, when you are picking one of these up, and if you missed it, they had a Black Friday sale on this thing. Man, the thing was, I think like 150 off, something like that. What a steal. 
and they're probably going to have more deals going on, qualifying trade-ins, stuff like that. Buying this phone at $899 is like buying an iPhone 14 Plus right here. But difference is, is iPhone 14 Plus Plus is Plus Plus is giving you 60 hertz panel. It's not giving you it's not giving you basic. It's giving you a notch up there, punch hole over here. It just doesn't feel like the most premium iPhone. Whereas Google at that same price is giving you their most premium phone. So like, that's a really good deal if you consider it comparatively to something like a $1,200 Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now that has come down to under a thousand in some cases, but when it launched, it didn't come down at that. And the upcoming S23 is not gonna be no 899. So the Google Pixel is the best value on the smartphone market right now if you're looking for high-end stuff and you want it at a lower price point. Also, when you do trade-ins, you could get this much lower. And that's it. That's at least 10 reasons I think you need to at least consider the Pixel 7 Pro over the competition. At least give it a shot, go in a store, check it out, see if you like it, because really, it's probably the best value out of the high-end right now. And a lot of people really have liked it, and I like where Google's going with it. They're really carving their own system, their own CPU, AI camera technology, like this thing has a future right here. So definitely do like it. Let me know if you guys like the Pixel 7 Pro, if you plan on getting one, if you're like, nah, not me, I'm good. Just let me know. I'd love to hear what you got to think about the latest Pixel smartphone down below. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here. Be sure to be well. Thank you.